Hey, Heart of God Church and all Christians and Singaporeans, especially Christians, you know, I just want to commend especially everyone in Heart of God Church that we are so proud of you, commend you that in this uh, time of our COVID-19, well, actually COVID-20 already, um, that, that you have shown tremendous adaptability, you have sh shown tremendous resilience, and uh, we are proud of you. And, and there's one verse I want to share with you, and that is 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. The Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but faith. But it's clear from this verse that when we are overcome by fear, fear makes us powerless, fear makes us loveless, and fear makes us mindless. Fear makes us powerless. Have you ever felt physically weak when you're fearful? You know, before you go up on stage or do a presentation before an exam, fear makes you weak. In fact, that's why people say you are paralyzed by fear because it makes you weak and powerless. Fear makes us loveless we go into a self-preservation mode. Yeah. We become selfish. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Every time you watch a disaster movie, you will always have the courageous uh, hero, and then you will always have the fearful one who becomes selfish yeah. and, and just want to self-preserve his life. Yeah. So fear makes us loveless, selfish. But most of all, Fear makes us mindless. It makes people begin to hoard toilet paper, <laughs> begins to hoard stuff because it becomes illogical, unreasonable. Fear makes us unable to think clearly. We can't think straight. So fear makes us mindless. But on the other hand, faith. Faith activates the power of God. Faith gives us power to do things. Faith makes us loving. When we have faith, we display the love of God, the love for humanity. And faith gives us a sound mind. We begin to think clearly again. So I am so proud of you, Heart of God Church and Singaporeans, that we are now, we are now working and living in a time, a difficult time, but you have risen up in faith. And in that faith, you have shown yourself to have power to help people, love to serve the community, and it gives you a logical, reasonable mindset to go through this difficult season. So, I encourage you, Heart of God Church, and every Singaporean Christian, well, for that matter, every Singaporean, that you need to have faith-based decision. You need to work, live, and continue your life in faith. Amen? Amen. 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 So, we are living in a new normal. I hope, I pray, that it goes back to the old normal, but for the next few months, it's like a new normal. And it kind of reminds me of the 911 terrorist attack. You see, after 911, when the planes hit the Twin Towers, after that, everything became a new normal. Travel becomes a new normal. Traveling used to be easy and fast, but then with all the security checks and measures, it is now inconvenient, it is now a hassle, but necessary inconvenience. But the best thing is about humanity is that everyone rises above the inconveniences and the, and the hassle. We, we rose up in courage into our new normal. We have shown resilience. It's been years since 911. We have shown adaptability. We have shown that human beings are able to navigate ambiguity. That there's a more risk, more uncertainty, but yet life goes on. We have not allowed the terrorists to affect our lives. 
life goes on. And in the same way that this new normal we are experiencing with the virus, in the same way, life goes on. Now, of course, we have all the precautionary measures. Of course, it's a bit more inconvenient. Of course, there's all the, the cautions, precautions we have to take, just like after 911, but life goes on. And again, I am so proud of how to God Church because church goes on with all the measures, but yet goes on. The gospel goes on. The love of God is, goes on. Singaporeans, life goes on. Works go on. Families goes on. And, and I think that's brilliant. So I'm so proud of how to God Church and Singaporeans and Christians here. You guys have rose, risen up to a whole new level of resilience, of adaptability, of the ability to live in, in ambiguity and uncertainty. So, so I think out of this, we have gone up to a whole new level. I, I think that, our, of course, we pray that the virus will be over and, and done with as soon as possible, but yet also in this difficult time, many of you have risen up and we are so proud of you. Keep on living in faith. Amen? Yeah. 